for the first time, we are hearing from the women who claim a former San Diego police officer groped them and held them against their will. 10 News reporter Allison Ash is now live with the excuse one of Chris Hayes' accusers says he made so he could touch her inappropriately. Allison. Yeah, she claims uh, here in court today that Hayes gave her a uh, lesson in police pat down techniques, she says, so he could feel her up. Officer Chris Hayes arrived at court with his wife Erica at his side. She sat in the front row as a series of women claimed her husband, then a San Diego police officer, gave them rides home, then touched them inappropriately. We're protecting the women's identities. This one testified Hayes took her to a secluded parking lot and demonstrated the difference between a male pat down and a female one. He does a female pat down, which was the groping of my breast and the groping of my vagina. She testified she went along with it because she didn't need any more trouble with police. A second Hayes accuser said it was after he took her home that he said he needed to search her. The whole thing was obscene. It should, the conversation should have never happened. He should not have been in the driveway talking to me about the color of my underwear. She claims he told her he likes pulling women's hair and biting their necks during sex, but she had problems identifying Hayes in court, saying she wasn't wearing her glasses the night she claims the officer assaulted her. He drops his hands towards his growing area and thrust his hips and says, just touch it. This woman says after Hayes gave her a ride home, he followed her into her apartment. She told the court what she was thinking at that moment. I'm going to get hurt if I don't listen to him. I need to get out of here. The woman claims Hayes threatened her. Is he saying anything to you as he's leaving? Yes. What does he say? I know where you live. I'll be back. In a testimony here late today, a detective took the stand. He said that Hayes asked him if he resigned from the police department, could he make all of these claims go away? The answer was no. Tomorrow, a judge will decide if there is enough evidence to take Christopher Hayes to trial. We're live downtown. Allison Ash, 10 News.